Hello, I'm Antia Peter. And I'm Ricardo. Reporting this week's news highlights by the Daily Express. Sabah Parti Pribumi Bersatu Malaysia will strive to warm up its somewhat cold relationship with the Parti Warisan Sabah led state government, said its chief Datuk Seri Haji Ji Noor. Warisan and other Pakatan Harapan component parties had not been welcoming when Bersatu set up its chapter in the state in April this year. In light of this, Haji Ji stated that Bersatu will try to establish closer ties with other PH parties and Warisan as he pointed out that all are friendly counterparts under PH. The Fisheries Department and Immigration Department have joined forces with the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency in conducting special operations to eradicate undocumented immigrants, illegal use of pump boats and fish bombing activities in the state. Since the recent deaths of the three divers believed to be the first case of recreational divers killed by fish bombing activities off Sopona waters, the Marine Police and MMMA in particular have stepped up operations statewide. The National Registration Department has denied allegations that it was involved in a Project IC 2.0 in Sabah and the receipt that has gone viral on social media was not the department's official receipt. The NRD urges the public to not believe and spread false information on this issue to avoid any confusion and disruption to public order. Tagap Stantito won the open category for the 10th Sabah Ethnic Culture Monument International Youth Folk Dance Festival in Sabah Cultural Centre. They brought home 16,000 ringgit and a trophy. SMK Lokyuk won the secondary school category, while SRK Stagnagnus topped the primary school category. Following the incident where a young woman was caught licking ice cream at the supermarket, another tempering case happened, this time at an ice cream shop. A Florida woman was caught urinating into a bucket that was used to churn the ice cream. It was reported that she runs the store next door and had been using the bathroom shared with the ice cream shop. The woman tried to enter the bathroom but the door was locked. She then took a bucket and rented in it and emptied the bucket into the sink that is used to wash the ice cream utensils. The owner of the ice cream shop was horrified upon finding out the disgusting truth on the CCTV footage. That's all for this week's news highlights. I'm Ricardo. And I'm Antia Peter. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more news from the Daily Express.